Welcome to the MATLAB Refresher course. If you've seen MATLAB before and need a bit of a refresher, or you've programmed in a different language and now you need to use MATLAB for a course or project, hopefully we can help you. Often when we're programming as engineers, we're doing one of two things. Trying to solve a problem, or trying to make our lives easier by automating some annoying task. In this series, we're going to automate a mundane task that we all spent too long doing as a child. Finding Wally. So just to be clear, if you have never seen MATLAB before, this course isn't for you just yet, but stick around a little longer and we'll point you to the right resource. Likewise, if you're an advanced MATLAB user, we don't think you'll get much value out of this course. But if you've seen MATLAB before, but it's been a while, or if you've programmed in other languages, but now you're using MATLAB for a course or project and just need to transfer some skills into a new programming language, or if you know MATLAB kinda well, but would like to practice applying it to a problem, this course is for you. So if you have never seen MATLAB before, you should go to MATLAB's website, create a MathWorks account, and complete the MATLAB on-ramp. It's a fantastic introductory resource from MATLAB that we highly recommend. For this tutorial series, we'll assume that you're familiar with how to do basic arithmetic in MATLAB and create new files and things like that. This is where we're headed. We're going to learn a whole bunch of basic coding and do some image processing in MATLAB. And every tutorial is designed to work towards the end goal, finding Wally. The basic lesson format is this. We'll have the tutorial screencast with some background information and the MATLAB screencast. We'll have templates for the exercises on our GitHub. These will be templates for you to work through the same tasks that we work through in the video. Of course, you can code your own solution alongside watching the video, but if you would prefer to do it separately without referring to the video for guidance, we've provided in each lab template a series of tests which provide you feedback on which parts of the exercise you've got correct so far. They look like this. You get feedback in the command window, which tells you which parts you've got correct, noted with the little green ticks, and next to the red crosses, you can see parts of the exercise you've got incorrect or that you're yet to complete. That's the basic layout for this course. In the next video, we'll get started in MATLAB.